Let's look at question 1C of the January 2018 CSEC Maths Pass paper. Mr. Adams invested $5,000 at the credit union and received $5,810 inclusive of simple interest after three years. Determine the simple interest earned. All right. If he invested $5,000 and got back $5,810, and when you subtract them, what you have is $810. So the simple interest is $810. Now, the annual interest paid the annual interest rate paid by the credit union okay now remember we have in this case a principal a prin principal amount invested is five thousand dollars the time is three years and he got back five thousand eight hundred and ten dollars so let's look at that first of all we're going to be calculating the interest rate paid by the credit union let me erase this get it out of the way remember the interest was eight hundred and ten dollars all right so we have a formula the interest the simple interest is the principal multiplied by the time multiplied by the rate divided by a hundred right so what we have is eight hundred and ten dollars is equal to eight hundred and ten dollars is equal to the principal of five thousand dollars multiplied by the time is three years multiply by the rate whatever it is divided by a hundred so what we have multiply eight hundred and ten by a hundred we get, we get eight ten hundred that's eighty one thousand is equal to five thousand by three by the rate now in transposing the rate will be eight to one thousand divided by five thousand by three which is eighty one thousand divided by fifteen thousand what's eighty one thousand divided by fifteen thousand let's get our calculator well my calculator here is in advanced mode let me put it in basic mode you don't really need the advanced mode right now so that's let me put it somewhere clean 81,000 divided by 15,000 equal 5.4 so the percentage rate is 5.4 percent so that's 5.4 percent is the rate the annual interest rate paid by the credit union all right now the other question what is the length of time it will take Mr. Adams investment to be doubled at the same rate of interest all right now let me just note 5.4 three years 5,000 interest is 810 let's get rid of these out of the way to do some working here now what we have is a doubling of the investment what that means 
he puts in five thousand dollars and he will get out ten thousand dollars so therefore the interest the interest that he will earn is five thousand dollars he doubled to be doubled five thousand dollars you see interest so he will double his five thousand dollars that he put in so he could take out ten thousand dollars so simple interest again it's principal times rate times time divided by a hundred let me if I can get this thing a with a little more space I'm looking for space here all right let's put, let's make it that way for now so interest five thousand dollars is equal to the principal investment that's five thousand dollars multiplied by the rate of interest the rate of interest is 5.4 we calculated that before right multiplied by the time we don't know what that is that's what we're trying to find so I'll write T for time over no, over a hundred right divided by a hundred percent this is 5,000 over 1 multiply both sides by a hundred a hundred will cancel itself when it multiplies over here and we'll have 5,000 times a hundred on the left is equal to it is 5,000 times 5.4 times t because remember when you multiply by 100 it cancels itself and you multiply by 100 here so on the left you get 5,000 times 100 so that's going to be 500,000 is equal to 5,000 by 5.4 what's that? 5 going to be 5,000 multiplied by 5.4 27,000 so that's 27,000 so 27,000 times T so what do you do now? you divide by 27,000 you divide by 27,000 so you divide both sides by 27,000 because you want T alone on one side so you get rid of this 27,000 here by dividing by it so you have T alone alright I need some space let me just erase this up here and continue so what I have is 500,000 over 27,000 is equal to T so what happens here when I divide the 500,000 by the 27,000 500,000 divided by 27,000 equals and I see 18 point five let's call it 18.5 two years so what I have is the time becomes 18.52 years All right. so that's what I get when I do the division the length of time it will take for Mr. Adams investment to be doubled at the same rate of interest 18.52 years alright now total 11 marks that shows that this is the end of question 1 alright that's the end of question 1 so let's see what question 2 will 
yes it's really the end of question one question two okay this is question two we won't really go into question two right now all right let's just take a little glance at what it says given that a star b is square root of all of that where the positive root is taken determine one star two okay whether the operation is commutative and justify your answer that will be interesting solve the inequality we have an inequality here then represent your answer on the number line okay good and then C statement 1 2 adults adult ticket and three children ticket costs that amount one adult ticket and one other ticket for a child cost that amount list x represents let x represents the cost of an adult ticket and y of a child ticket write two equations so that will be a pair of simultaneous equations and solve the equations good that will be question two but we leave it out for now, so later on we will touch on question 2.